Okay. So for this basic function, okay, so we have learned uh, these three before. And also for this basic function, also when you learn basic function, you will have to do the signal operations as well. Okay, so these are the basic function that we, uh, basic functions that you're going to learn. Okay, for today, um, we look when we are going to look uh, by one by one. Okay, the first one is sinusoids and complex exponential. Okay, I believe that you already also learned this before. You have uh, you have um, so you jumpa this many many times. Okay, so when we say sinusoids functions. Okay, sinusoid function, it involves cosine. Cosine is cos, okay, or sine function. Okay, so this is the basic form. This is the basic form of uh, cosine function. You, kalau I gerakkan mouse ni, boleh nampak lah. Boleh, boleh. Ah, okay, so okay lah. Okay, so this is cosine function. Okay, this is the basic form. Okay, actually, if you look uh, from the right here, the basic form here is a cosine omega naught t plus theta. Yes, Ahmed, why you put why you put question mark? If you want to ask, you can you can just turn on your um, uh, microphone, okay? So this is a cosine omega naught t. Where is the attendance? Okay, someone can you please uh, replace the link for QR code? Okay, maybe he just joined. Uh, can you please uh, replace uh, copy paste the link? Right, thank you, Fauzan. Okay, so omega naught is actually 2 pi f naught. Okay, this is omega naught. This is omega naught, which is also uh, 2 pi f naught. So 2 pi f, f naught is equivalent to 2 pi over t naught. Okay, so this is the um, relation. Omega naught is actually uh, angle frequency. Okay, uh, the unit is radian per second. Okay, so omega naught is equivalent to 2 pi f naught. Pi lah, 3.142. And F naught is fundamental frequency. Okay, why we say fundamental? It, is, it means that the uh, smallest frequency for that signal. Okay, nanti kita akan tengok lagi um, uh, in chapter 2. Alright, so F naught is actually frequency. So frequency is equivalent to, if you remember, frequency is equivalent to 1 over T naught. T naught is the duration of the signal. Okay. Is actually 2 pi over t naught. Okay, that is why um, when you look at the equation here, it's equivalent to a cos 2 pi over t naught t plus theta. Okay, so if you look here at the explanation, a is real amplitude of sinusoid or complex exponential. t naught is real fundamental period of sinusoid. Real means it's, it, it needs to, uh, it has to be real number, not imaginary number. F naught is real fundamental frequency in terms of hertz and omega naught is angle frequency in terms of radian per second. The same signal sinusoid function here can also be um, represented in terms of exponential function. Okay, For the same signal here, when we write in exponential function, we write like this. A, the same amplitude, uh, exponent, Sigma naught plus J omega naught T. Okay, sigma naught is actually a real damping rate. Apa real damping rate? Nanti uh, later I show you what is damping rate. Okay, and then it is also equivalent to A E sigma naught T cos omega naught T plus J sine omega naught T. This is the um, apa eh? trigonometry uh, relation. Okay, um, I have also upload actually upload in the in the e-learning the list of um apa eh? the list of formulas if you notice okay so that list of formulas during final exam it will be given okay uh, there is a booklet of formula so it will be given okay so there is the uh, all these relationship trigonometries and also um Fourier transform and so on okay but you need to know how to use this okay so this is uh, basically from the uh, trigonometries exponent j theta equivalent to cos theta plus j sine theta. Okay, 
if you have already downloaded it, you can uh, refer to the uh, list of formula. Okay, so from this, okay, from this, you um, put in this equation. Okay, put in this equation, then you will get um, A cos omega naught T plus J sine omega naught T. Okay, any other question? Okay, uh, basically this one. Is actually a exponent sigma not t plus a exponent j omega not t. Okay, so for the j omega not t part, oh, sorry, it's not plus, it's uh, multiply. This one should be uh, multiply. You need multiply. Okay, that's why bila you uh, when you multiply two exponential function. Okay, you will, uh, you can add this, right? The exponent here. Okay, and then when you rewrite it again, use this formula, you will get this. Okay, exponential function. Okay, so the damping rate is actually the rate of the oscillation decay. It means that if you uh, draw exponential function, it will be something like this. Okay, so damping rate is the rate dia jatuh. Okay, rate that it drops like that. Okay, why the, whether it like this or like this or like that. Okay, it has the rate. Okay, so that is the damping rate. Okay. So moving on to the uh, next slide. Some of the uh, example. Okay, uh, for the sinusoid signal and also for the exponential signal. Okay, for, for the first one, A, negative 4 sine 200 pi t uh, this is actually current, okay, microampere. So, for sine wave, remember that sine wave starts like this. Okay, this is something that you have to remember. This is sine wave. Okay, kalau cosine dia, mana lagi kat sini? Kalau cosine, if cosine, something like this. Okay, this is cosine. Okay, so this is sine. So, for here, for this example here, is negative 4. For when negative, this is 4. So when negative, it will be inverted in terms of the amplitude. So this part will go to, will go here. So this should be negative 4. This is 4. Okay. So this is negative 4 sine 200 pi t. And then um, B here is 10 cos 10 power of 6 pi t. Okay, it means that the frequency here is higher. When the frequency is higher, the period here is lower, shorter. Okay, one period is like this. Okay, this is one period. Okay, this is actually T. Or we can call also T naught. Okay, fundamental. This is one period. Okay, so when the uh, period is shorter, the frequency is higher because it is uh, inversely proportional. Okay, remember that T naught is equivalent to 1 over F naught. So when T naught here is high, okay, frequency will be lower. Okay, boleh faham eh? Hello? Hello, hello? Boleh, ah. Mada, boleh. Oh, okay, <laughs> takut saya boleh, tengok. Boleh. Tengok. All right, all right. Okay, for C, this is exponential function. Okay, how to draw this exponential function? It depends on the um, A here. The, actually, the... Let me erase this one. Okay, actually, uh, for the exponential function, the basic form here is uh, xt equivalent to c exponent a t. So, if a is positive okay if a here yang dekat t ni if a which is next to t here is positive your exponential function should be something like this okay this is when a positive and this is c okay which is the um, intersection between um, this line this function and also uh, y axis okay and when a is less than zero okay you should draw like this c okay. uh, this is c okay uh, which is uh, for this example here this is t 
and sorry, this is two, and A here is negative, so that is why the um, drawing is like this. Okay, so how fast it goes down, it depends on the damping rate. Yang sigma tadi, eh? Alright, for D here is uh, the multiplication of exponential signal and also sine wave. Okay, so the signal would be something like this. Okay, something like this. Okay, so ini dah masuk uh, advanced level lah. Uh, uh, I rarely see a question ask you to plot um, multiplication of exponential and also sine wave. Okay, this is just to give you uh, some examples. Okay. All right. Um, moving on to the first important function. Can you see the whole screen from unit step function? You can see the whole screen, right? Okay. For unit step function, uh, this is the first basic function when we say unit step that is why uh, the shape here is like a step okay uh, one step to to uh, to the stairs okay so it's employed to switch other signals on or off so by definition okay you can also put a tau here as t doesn't matter okay so u tau is equal to one when tau bigger than zero or zero when tau less than zero and tau here is independent variable and it's a linear function of time. Okay, so let's say you don't, don't like tau. Okay, tau is just another uh, Greek word for a uh, time. So let's say you don't like tau, I can put here, uh, this is the basic one, ut is equivalent to one when t bigger than zero, zero when t less than zero. So when you draw here, it should be based on zero. Okay, and your and your signal should start at zero here. After zero, the value of the signal is one. Until when? Until forever. Okay, um, before zero, the value value of the signal is zero. So that is why we call it unit step function, like step. Okay, so you need forever lah. Okay, this is a continuous signal. And then, um, example here, if there is a time shifting, for example here, if uh, tau equivalent to t minus t naught, so when you write the equation, u t minus t naught is equal to 1, okay, when t minus t naught is bigger than 0, or you can simplify it when uh, t here bigger than t naught. Okay, T not bawa, bawa ke kanan, bring to the right. And it is equivalent to zero when T minus T naught is less than zero. So T here less than T naught. Okay. Um, for example here, because remember that we, we, sorry, alamak. We have performed before the signal operations. Okay, when T naught is um, positive here, it will be, uh, sorry, negative here, it will be um, shifted to the right, right? Betul. Okay. And then here, um, for this example, it is uh, the signal, the, from the original signal is shifted by T naught. So if you want to draw, let me uh, show you another example. If you want to draw um, U T min, uh, plus 2, okay. So basically, this T naught is actually uh, negative. Okay. This is actually ut minus minus t naught. Okay, so it becomes positive here. So you straight away know that uh, this signal will start at two. Uh, sorry, at negative two. Okay, so this is u t plus two shifted by negative two from the uh, right from the left. Okay, this is t. So, kalau if the, uh, is the question uh, asks you to plot u, t minus 5, okay, so this t naught is 5, this, so this one should start at 5. Okay. Okay, ta? Uh, uh, any question? No? Anyone can answer me? Okay. Malu je semua. Alright, okay. So this is another important part where you have to 
uh, plot the function at t given by this equation. Okay, this is uh, the combination of unit step function. That is why I said uh, it is a very important function. So for this example, for this example, how many how many unit step function do you have here? Can anyone answer? Apa? Nak, nak answer code chat pun tak apa, dia keluar kat sini so I can, I can read your chat. Can anyone answer how many unit step function here? Alright, thank you Missin for unit step function. Okay, so we look at uh, unit step function here one by one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so all the four step function here can be written as first you write the first unit step function here. So it is 3 ut plus 3 equivalent to 3. So why is this 3 here? Because we already know that if there is a number outside of the bracket here, it means there is a, an uh, amplitude uh, scaling. Okay, amplitude scaling. The original signal here does not have any numbers before you, right? So that is why you have to remember the original form of ut, which is ut 0, 0 when t less than 0. You have to remember this original form of unit step okay so when there is any signal here if uh, sorry any numbers before ut let's say ut uh, there is a before ut so this one should be a as well okay so this is what happened here um, 3 ut plus 3 equal to 3 when t bigger than negative 3 okay so 3 here uh, you just imagine 3 here go to the right side so it bigger than negative 3 and this is zero, uh, it's equal to 0 when t less than negative 3. Okay, settle part 1. For part 2 here, okay, ut is equal to 1 when t bigger than 0. It's, um, actually, uh, for this uh, part 2, sorry, the uh, second uh, step function here, actually, I prefer to take into account uh, straight away this negative, okay, this, this operation, this negative. Okay, actually, you, you don't have to uh, put here as well. Uh, you, can, you don't have to put here. You can uh, use this when you perform the operation, but I prefer to put it here. So I will change this to negative 1. Okay, why negative? Because there is a negative here. It means that negative 1 minus ut. So the amplitude should be negative 1. So you boleh, uh, you can change in your notes lah. Okay, when t bigger than 0, 0 when t less than 0. Okay, so this is for number two. For number three, signal number three, three ut minus three is equal to three when t bigger than three, equal to zero when t minus than three. Please let me know if you don't understand why uh, at the time here, at the time base here, it is very important. Okay, so um, uh, if you don't understand, you refer back to the original signal here and also what happened when the signal ut here is shifted, okay, uh, by t naught. Alright, and then finally number four, u t minus six is equal to one when t bigger than six is equal to zero when t minus than six. Okay, so now we have to combine all the signals together based on the time involved. So you identify first what is the time involved. Okay, so the time involved here is the time involved here. You look at the uh, time part here. The time involved here is negative three. 0, 3, and 6. Okay, so we start with t less than negative 3, the smallest. Okay, you know that the time involved will be negative 3, 0, 3, and 6. So before negative 3, all signals are 0. Why? Because here, um, before negative 3, there should be uh, no signal. Okay, if we look here, before negative 3, this is 0. If we look at the second signal, before 0 is 0. So it applies to before negative 3 as well. Okay. For the third signal, before 3, it is 0. And the fourth signal, before 6, it is 0. So all these, yang the second layer ni, apply for t minus negative 3. Dia termasuk juga. Okay. Dia termasuk juga t uh, uh, less than negative 3. Dia termasuk juga dengan yang second layer kat bawah ni. Alright. So for when t less than negative 3, at t is equal to 0. Okay, why 0? Because you perform this, this, this and this. You add all together. And then the next time is 0. The of is 0. So you put here t between negative 3 and also 0. Okay, 
So when you uh, do like this, you find the XT value uh, or you find the value here, uh, the signals here, when T is be, uh, less than zero and bigger than negative three. So only one signal here have values when T is bigger than negative three, okay, which is three. Okay, so you put three here. For other signal, it still doesn't have value because other signal here only have value when it is bigger than zero. This is when bigger than three. This is when bigger than six. So you put three here, equivalent to three. Between zero to three, T between zero to three, okay, you find the value for signals that is between, uh, sorry, that is below than three, okay, but it is bigger than zero, okay? So we know that when it is bigger than zero, this one applies as well, okay, yang first, because this is bigger than negative three, so you can put three, okay? And here, bigger than, T bigger than zero, we have minus one, so you put minus one, okay? For this one, uh, T bigger than zero, it doesn't have any value, it is still zero, because this only have value when t bigger than 3, okay, and this one pun tak ada value, still no value, okay, at t less than 3. So you add together, you, you will get 2, okay, and then the next time range is between 3 to 6, okay. So how do you, again, how do you know the numbers here? You look at the time involved here, which is negative 3, 0, 3, and 6, okay. So xt is equal to? 3, you take yang belah atas je. Um, here. 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 0 equal to 5. Okay, because all the, uh, these three step functions have value when t less than 6 and, sorry, t less than 6 and bigger than 0 except for the last step function. And finally, t bigger than 6, it applies to uh, all step functions uh, which have value lah. Okay, when t bigger than 6, all step functions have value. So 3 minus 1 plus 3 plus 1. Okay, you take the amplitude here. So it is equivalent to 6. Okay, so once you got this, it will be no problem for you to plot based on this time range. First, t minus the negative 3, it is 0. Okay, and then t between negative 3 to 0, it has value which is 3. Okay. Kita tengok value ni. Okay. And then between 0 to 3. Okay. It goes uh, down back to 2. So jadi 2 lah. Okay. And between 3 to 6. It has value which is 5. The amplitude here is 5. Okay. So this is 5. And after 6. It is 6. So where where uh, do this go? Forever lah. 6. Okay. Up until t go to infinity. Okay, any question? Madam. Uh -huh. Kan yang formula XT banyak-banyak oh. Uh -huh. Kan yang, uh -huh, yang bawah uh -huh. tu. Kan uh -huh. minus 0, minus 0, minus 0. But uh -huh. last one is plus 1. Ada plus 1 ke mana? Yang ni yang ni kan? At, uh, at, at the end of every uh -huh. there's minus 0. Oh, yang ni. And then, uh, the last be, one is this one. This one should be plus. Sorry, this one should be plus. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you for, for noticing this. This one should be one lah. Uh. So it should, should be plus. Okay, this is actually a typo lah. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. If no, we can um move on to another uh, important signal juga. Okay. Uh, this is what we call. Uh, RAM function, okay? Macam RAM lah, RAM kan kita tahu dia akan naik ke atas kan, that is RAM, so this is RAM function. Function that changes linearly, okay, this is the important keyword, before or after some time or is multiplied by function that changes linearly before or after some time, okay? Uh, it is obtained by integrating the unit step function. Okay, this is how you uh, obtain the RAM which you have to integrate unit step function. When you integrate unit step function, you will get um, RAM function. Okay, so RAM function, the original RAM function um, form is like this. Okay, 
ram t is equivalent to t when t bigger than zero is equivalent to zero when t less than zero okay so when we say t this is actually the gradient kecerunan dia gradient okay one t so it means that um it has to be the same okay at x and y okay uh, proportionally eh, proportionate apa pun panggil eh berkada terus okay ah dah lupa dah okay anyone can 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 remind me okay um so this is uh, proportionate between x and y okay so if you draw this forever okay ram t also will go forever so if this one is at 2 okay by this point okay at y also will be at 2 that is why ram t is equivalent to t t bigger than 0 or uh, 0 t, t less than 0 you can also write this function as um, t u t okay this is another way to write ram t this is equivalent to t when t bigger than 0 0 when t less than 0 so when you see this when you see this t u t you know straight away this is ram t okay because uh, normally when we put in the equation we don't write ram okay some of the books write r r t okay some of the books uh, some of the books write ram t or some of the books just put t u t so this is basically a uh, unit step function you multiply by t right but multiply by time that is why uh, if you look here the basic here is unit step function step function so if you if uh, you remember the unit step function if there is a number here a when t bigger than zero so this applies to ram function as well uh, when this this is t so it means that the um, amplitude here is t okay all right and then um okay this is a shifted ram function okay shifted ram function for example here ram t minus t naught okay kalau if we write here in terms of a uh, unit step function okay you can write here like this t minus t naught u t minus t naught okay this is another way to write ram t minus t naught okay numbers in the bracket here have to be the same in order for you to write ram here okay so it's equivalent to t minus t naught and if you rearrange here t minus t naught is bigger than zero based on the original signal so here t bigger than t naught okay or uh, it's equivalent to zero when t minus t naught less than zero or t minus uh, less than t naught okay so if i rewrite here in terms of t minus t naught u t minus t naught is equivalent to t minus t naught okay when t bigger than t naught zero when t less than t. this um if you want to remember you just look at this whatever number here before you so it should be equivalent to this okay all right so when you want to uh draw ram t naught which has been shifted it depends on the t naught so this is a generic uh, graph general okay let's say let like t uh, not here at at this uh, position okay so you shift you shift here shift the signal here by t not okay and then only the signal goes up like that okay so it has to be uh, directly proportional juga okay means that uh, this one if this one has value from t not to t not plus one has value one this one pun has to be one juga okay so this is ram t minus t not uh ram sorry another example ram t plus two okay so for ram t plus two is equivalent to t plus two when t bigger than negative two okay so you start at negative two uh is equal to zero when t less than negative two okay so for this case um uh you need when you draw okay yeah um yeah ni, yeah ni, kat sini dia terlebih sikit eh? it should be it should start from zero and then goes up like that forever okay so when you draw when here is negative two it should be two okay means that 
when the signal here uh, at negative one, the value here should be one as well. Okay, so that, that's what I mean by uh, should be the, uh, directly proportional. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Ada eh? Hello? Okay, no, thank you. Alright, so another, kejap. Okay, we have uh, a few minutes. After this, kita uh, take a rest kejap. And then, Okay. Okay, we have another basic function which is impulse function. Impulse ni dia, it, it goes up just for a very short time. Okay. Um, it has zero value at all time except at T0. Okay, if T0 is zero, it means, if T0 is zero here, it means that it has value at zero. Okay, zero. Zero. Okay, so this is delta T. Okay, means T0 is at zero. So the area under the unit impulse function is one. This is the properties of impulse function. It means that when you integrate this delta function, you will get one. Okay, so it is defined by delta T minus T0 is equal to zero when T not equal to T0. Okay, or you can also define like this, delta T is equal to zero when T, um, when T is uh, equal to zero, not equal to zero. Ah, so the uh, sorry. Um, ah, okay, when T is not equal to zero, betul lah. Okay, maksudnya uh, at all other times, except for zero, delta T will be zero. Okay, hanya dekat zero for this example. Hanya dekat zero, this is for this example. Only at zero, delta T has value. Okay, same goes here. Okay, so um, actually the value of delta T here, the value of the amplitude of delta T is actually infinity. So that is why when we plot in plus function or delta function, we put the, we put this. Okay, we put the uh, arrow here. It means infinity. However, sometimes you will see small number here. It means this, the area. Okay, we are working with the area of the uh, impulse function because the value of the amplitude is actually infinity. That is why we have the arrow here. Okay, so when we you see the number here, it's actually this, the area of the impulse function because this, uh, this define the delta function. Okay, it can be estimated by one narrow impulse rectangular with one unit of area where the width of this impulse has a small value, okay? Uh, this is how they estimate the um, area of the impulse function, uh, where exponent here is uh, very small, lah, okay, towards the zero, okay? All right, and this is the properties of unit impulse function. I think I put one of the example on how to use the properties of this unit impulse function, a uh, soft example. Okay, in, in PDF, uh, on the e-learning. Okay, so um, it's actually, you don't have to remember these properties, but you, you need to know how to use these properties okay, in case you have an equation. Okay, for, for example here, sorry, for example here, um, integration of ft multiplied by delta t minus t naught, okay, will result in ft naught, okay. Uh, ft it means that ft continuous at t equal to t naught okay so um i don't want to read one by one okay um i don't know whether i i have many other examples but uh, the one that i put the example here is based on the final equation okay so you just need to know how to uh, use this function okay for example if you integrate between integrate uh, multiplication of ft minus t naught okay which is any Function here that has shifted by t naught multiplied by delta t is actually equivalent to f minus t naught. Okay, it means that ft continuous at t equivalent to negative t naught. Okay, and uh, so on. Okay, for example here uh, number four delta t minus t naught is actually equivalent to d over dt ut minus t naught. The differentiation of uh, ut minus t naught. Um, 
vice versa. U T minus T naught is uh, equivalent to integration of delta T minus T naught. Okay. All right. Ah, yang ni pun, if you need to integrate a uh, delta function, which have uh, shifted by T naught, okay, you, you can uh, simplify the equation like this. 1 over A, and then you uh, integrate delta T minus T naught per A, T naught over A. Okay. Okay, delta negative is equivalent to delta T. Okay. Um, can we have a break? Five minutes? Hello. Ah, okay. So, we, okay, we have a break by, uh, 10 min, uh, five minutes, sorry, the five minutes only. Okay, so in case you want to ask any question, you can ask question, eh? Okay. Okay, then you see on the screen here, rectangular function. Okay. Kalau nampak, let me know eh. Boleh ke? Nampak ke? Nampak. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Okay, for rectangular function, uh, it has a unit value for its width, okay, dia punya lebar, height, tinggi dia, and also area. A unit value, it means that it has value 1. Value 1. Okay, if you look at the uh, figure here, okay, uh, it has amplitude 1, okay, and also here, is also 1, the width. Okay, the width. The body 1. Okay, and when you multiply 1 by 1 to get the area, is also 1. So, it is defined by rectangle T is equal to 1 when T is between negative 1 over 2, to 1 over 2, and 0 otherwise. So, the basic function, uh, the basic form of rectangular function here, you need to remember because the origin here is 0. means um. Uh, it is symmetrical at 0, t equal to 0. Okay, it has value from negative 1 over 2 to 1 over 2. Okay, if you find another rectangle, for example, this form, okay, it starts from 0 and 1, this is 1. It means that this rectangle function has been shifted by, by berapa? Okay, you look here. Okay, this is the uh, middle of the rectangle. Okay, the original form should, should be at 0. So, this one is at 0 0.5. So, it has been shifted by 0 0.5. So, for this example, this is actually rectangle um, T, T minus 0 0.5. Okay, because it has been shifted by 0 0.5. Okay, so this is what I say. Uh, That's why I said you have to remember the original form of rectangle T. So it operates as an on or off switching function in a certain signal after one period. Okay, it means that uh, it, uh, it's just like a switching function. Okay, because when it is one, okay, the circuit, for example, is turned on. Okay, when it's zero, it is turned off. Okay, this is rectangular function. Another one is a triangular function. Okay, this is a triangular function. So for this, Triangular, it has a unit value, means uh, value equal to 1 for its height, the punya tinggi, height and area, but not its width. Okay, because width here is actually 2. Okay, because this is 1, this is negative 1, so it's actually 2. The definition is try T is equivalent to 1 minus, um, 1 minus uh, a T here. Okay, um, dia punya apa panggil, eh? magnitude T. Okay, so T is less than 1. Magnitude T here is less than 1. Okay, and it's equivalent to 0 when it is uh, bigger or equal to 1. Okay, so you remember also the uh, it is symmetrical at T equal to 0 which is at uh, at this Y. Okay, 
So if you see uh, another example, for example, like this, okay, it means that this triangle also has been shifted by, okay, look here, this is 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. So if this is the case, it has been shifted by, oh, no, sorry, we shifted by tri C plus 0 0.5. Okay, so the same as uh, unit take function or other functions, if this is uh, 4, for example, there is uh, another amplitude here, and this is another um, numbers before try here, so it means that the amplitude here is also 4. Okay, 4 try t plus 0 0.5. Okay, and then, okay, another one is sync function. Okay, sync function is actually a very important function in the uh, communication system. It is obtained from the Fourier transform of the unit rectangular function. It means that if you perform Fourier transform, okay, um, from rectangular function, rectangular yang tadi tu eh, rectangular. If you perform Fourier transform for this, Fourier transform of uh, rectangular get sync function okay sync function is actually sine t function you divide by that time again okay so you will get something like this okay this is sync function it is symmetrical at zero also okay this is sync function mm, another one is signum function okay signum function is closely related to unit step function it is defined by uh, not all books actually uh, define uh, this, okay, because you can see that this is also additional of two unit step function, okay, but for signal function is defined by SGN here, which uh, means signal one is defined by uh, equal to one when t bigger than one, okay, and then zero when t is equal to zero, near betul betul zero, okay, and then equal to negative one when t is less than zero, okay. So this is uh, most often used signals in communication and also in control theory. Okay, so um, okay, so all of these the functions I think I have uh, described. So let us do some exercise here. You ada kertas eh? Ada kertas dengan pen eh? So please uh, beside. Okay. Beside uh, watching my my presentation, you also write something. Eh? Okay, first we, we do ft is equal to five rem t plus one. So you know from this example, from this question, it is um, the signal here is shifted by negative one to the left. Okay, because t node here is negative one, and also uh, it has kat sini amplitude scaling by 5 so if we rem we back to the basic function you know that rem t is something like this okay something like this this is a uh, rem t okay so when you want to draw uh, 5 rem t you refer balik eh you refer back to the original one so you know that um it is uh, shifted by 1, okay, to the left. So, it is negative 1. So, because it is 5 at the amplitude, you put 5 here. So, it should be something like this. Okay, before negative 1, it is 0. Okay, so this is Ft. There. Okay. So this is straight uh, example, tenang je. And for B here is yt is equivalent to 3ut minus 3. So again, you look at original form of the u unit step function. Okay, original form say that uh, after 0 should be 1. Before 0, it is 0. So this is ut. Okay. So when you want to draw, want to draw, you shift by 3, okay? 
use apa ni okey you shift by 3 to the right okey okay, so this is 3 by y3 because it has amplitude so needs to put 3 okay, so this is y3 so it starts at 3 okay boleh you can also you can also do something like if you want to understand further whether this is should be positive or negative you can also put this one as tau okay so tau is equivalent to t minus 3 and then t is equivalent to tau minus a plus 3 okay so you can draw the original um satu je pun okay only zero is involved right okay for original one tau but when it is three um okay you just plus je lah when tau is equal to zero t is equal to zero plus three so it is three okay so you know it starts at three okay this is how, uh, how to do if you still confuse whether you want to the shift to the right or left okay or you just have to remember that uh, this is actually uh, 3u t minus uh, minus uh, apa eh? minus t naught. Okay, so t naught here is actually 3. Okay, so you start uh, you start the signal at 3. Okay, and then the next one is uh, 4 sine 4 sine 10 t. Okay, ada. 4 sin 10 t. Okay, how do you want to draw a sinus function? Sin function. Okay. First, you remember that this, when you put uh, in the form, okay, in the original form, is actually 4 sin uh, omega naught t. So, omega naught here is 10. Okay, so from omega naught, you know it's actually equivalent to 2 pi f naught. So f naught sama dengan apa? F naught is actually equivalent to, f is equivalent to 1 over t. So f naught is equivalent to 1 over t naught. So this is 2 pi divided by t naught. Okay, so omega naught here is 10. So can you solve for 10? Solve Sorry, uh, solve for T naught. So T naught is equivalent to um, 2 pi over 10. Okay, so solve for T naught, you will get here pi divided by 5. So maksudnya here, uh, satu, one period here is actually pi over 5. So you know, you must know, you must know how to draw how to draw sine function okay so sine function is actually like this okay ni ada lagi lah of course we have some more function yeah? because it's the uh, sine function is continuous so this is one period one period one period should be something like this okay one period should be like this so, um, one period means T naught here. So, here should be pi over 5. Okay, pi over 5. And the value of the amplitude should be 4. So, this is HT. So, what is the value here? It should be T naught divided by 2. So, T naught divided by 2 is pi over 10. Okay. So you you don't have to label each of this value, okay? Enough for the T naught is enough, okay? Because uh, normally this is what we call uh, sketch the signal, okay? Even plot the signal is also okay because this signal is continuous, it's harmonic. Okay, remember that harmonic means that it's uh, uh it's repeated over time, so uh it will be like this, okay? Okay, and then. Any question for uh, HT equal to 4 sine 10 T? Okay, so I hope this is clear. If this is cosine, then you will need to draw 
uh, this peak here start from zero. Okay, kena differentiate lah. You know how to do plot sine and cosine. You need to be able to differentiate between these two signal. Okay, another one is uh, one over two sinc t plus two. Okay, especially for sinc function, you can only um, you can only uh, sketch the function. Okay, so we know that for sinc function. Okay, it starts at the origin here. Eh? For um, sin function. Oh, wow. Susah nak melukis. Sekejap, sekejap, sekejap. Okay, dia makin, dia makin smaller. Something like that. Okay, this is the original one. Which has, which has value at, um, the peak value is at 1. Okay, so when you want to draw a sync function, which has been shifted by uh, 2, so you have to shift to the left at negative 2. Means the origin here, at the peak area, uh, at the peak um, value here is at 0. So for the new signal, the peak value should be at negative 2. Okay, so the new signal is something like this. Okay, and this is 1 over 2 because it has been scaled by 1 over 2 here. So this is N T. Okay. okay, any question? No? No, no. no. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, okay. Okay, and then uh, we come to uh, another example of plotting basic functions equation. Okay, for this kind of equation, uh, uh, for, for this kind of question, normally this question is related to the next question. So if you wrong at the first question, be careful, eh? you got it wrong here, uh, then all the way here we'll get it wrong. Okay, so here, signal you x t is defined as uh, 2u t plus u t minus 1 plus minus this. Okay, if you see this function here, we have 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I, I, am be, I just take the example which involve a unit set function only. Okay, and then um, sketch the signal completely. Boleh you buat dulu tak? Boleh tak? I can, can I give you... Uh, Five minutes to do it, and then um, anyone can 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 um, up, eh? volunteer to to draw on the screen so that we can see the, your solution together. Boleh? Okay, I give you five minutes to try to uh, sketch this signal. Okay, this is only unit step function, so it should be very easy. Madam, sikit asing-asing ke, ke gabung semua sekaligus, Madam? Tak, you you do uh, step by step, just like my previous slide. Okay? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, and then you combine it together. It should become one function which is xt, new function. Okay? Okay, try to do it dulu. Sorry, saya tak jumpa. Saya tak jumpa function lain lah dekat dalam ni. Alamak, sekejap ni. And show sekejap.
sambung. Baru nak sambung. Uh, T here will be negative 1. Uh, so when you get this, okay, to make sure that when you add uh, all this column, it will be equivalent to Ft here. Okay. So when you get this all correct, so memang 98% your answer is correct lah. 98 to 7 lah. Something like that. Okay. So how to put in terms of equation? So you put Ft is equivalent to, you take this function on the left here, you multiply by, by the value in the, uh, the value in the same row, okay, at this column here. So first, but but you put the, this value first, eh? this value first. First, Ft is equivalent to T plus 2, U T plus 2, and then you take the, you take the second uh, row here because this is minus t minus 1 but plus first plus minus t minus 1 u t and then minus because this is my, minus 1 so just minus u t minus 1 okay so three uh, unit step function involved okay so rearrange because you want to see here whether it is a unit step function or ram function, when you rearrange, this is t plus 2, u, t plus 2, okay? This is negative t, so you can put negative t, u, t. This is negative 1, so you can just put negative u, t minus u, t minus 1. Okay, so if you leave like this, it's correct already, okay? But let's say if you are extra rajin, you want to put in terms of uh, you want to put the words RAM, so you can put, this is RAM, you know. So this is RAM, T plus 2, minus RAM, T minus U, T minus U, T minus 1. Huh. Finally, you get the answer. Okay tak? Nak saya? Okay tak? Please, please give me the feedback. Okay, so any question? Okay, any question? The most important part is you have to get this uh, this part correct. Okay, the bottom equation has to be correct. Okay, kalau kat sini salah, um, if you get it wrong, then you get all of this wrong. Okay, so how to check it back? You can plot you can plot this ft back, and you'll see whether you will get um, this form. Okay, this is how you you um, check it back. Okay, this um, this example, oh, sorry, uh, this kind of question is easier if it, if it does not involve, uh, if it doesn't involve any RAM function. Okay, so what you can do is you can, um, from this function here, uh, from this graph here, you can try to derive it back and find whether you can get this. Uh, okay, you, you work backward using this uh, method okay you can try it okay so i open for any question come on you should have any question you should have uh, like one question or two question mm -hmm. ada tak soalan nyap semua hello Okay, no, thank you. Yang lain? Okay, so if no question, I will end. I will end this show. Um. Okay, so I will stop this uh, recording. I I will share this recording. Tapi ada saya termis record tadi eh. For, for this example, I missed half of the uh, methods here, but